my name is Evie, like the Pokemon, and this is the look that we're going to be learning today. Um, it's so this part is a simple look. Everything else is very costumey. I'm doing this for Ash Nico. She's one of my favorite um, music artists out right now, and she just came out with a song named Daisy. And I have a dog named Daisy, and, and other, other than that, I just really love this song. And I just imagined doing like so much with it, and it gave me such inspiration. So today I have my Ash Nico ponytails. I did the, I'm a little blue monster. So if you want to learn how to do this whole look, keep on watching. Bye. All right, so I did my foundation. I have my Ash Nico braids on. It is raining and thundering outside. I have my Daisy right here. You can't see her. She's kind of shaking and trembling. So I have her right here. Let me see. Come here. Hi, Nana. Hey, baby. See, this is my Daisy. Okay. You know what? I'm going to just leave her be because she's really scared right now because of all the thunder. So I'm just keeping her company. Lay down, Nana. Lay down. Come on. There you go. It's okay. All right, so I'm gonna have her here on my lap the entire time. So, today is Daisy time. Get it? No. Anyways, um, so what I was thinking of doing is a simple yet in inspired, I, I get very inspired by music. So, what we're gonna do today is something a little different. I don't know how many other people have done it. I tried it the other day and I was very, very satisfied with how it came out. So the other day I did just one color, but this time I'm gonna do as many colors that are close to the flower daisy as possible. So, Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is on our lid, we're going to take one, we're gonna take a white base, okay? And that, that's all that's gonna be there. So I'm gonna take this brush right here and I'm going to take Virgin and then I'm gonna take Jawbreaker on top of it so that it's a little more glittery. And then I'm going to take Diamond Ashes in the corner right here. And that's it. That's it. We're doing white on white on white on white. So let's start with that. So I'm going to do this side. You know what I should do? I'll put this mirror right here. So I have a mirror right here. Oh, let's not put that in the camera. Let's see, how's that? So we're gonna do virgin first. And what I'm doing is I'm not putting it all over the lid, how I'm doing it is I'm taking the brush and I'm flicking it just like that. Wow, the rain ambience is strong, isn't it? So, just like that, flick, flick, and then a little bit on the lid right here, okay? Same thing with Jawbreaker. Take Jawbreaker, flick, 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 okay? Not too much, we're just giving it a base for the diamond ashes. Flick, 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 flick. It's like if you were to put highlight. And now diamond ashes. I remember what I told you about diamond ashes. This thing is super damn crumbly.
That's the only problem I have with this palette is the pressed pigments. They're very, like, it kind of feels like when I put the brush on it that I'm putting, like, I'm breadcrumbs, if that makes sense. So. A little bit, just a little bit. Like that. See? And now, when you have that, <laughs> this thing almost fell. When you have that, okay, we're gonna take fluffy brush. Hang on drag it out okay and then you're just gonna keep putting diamond ashes as much as you desire I'm just trying to get it into into the corner I'm not because this is not gonna be the star of the show Okay, it's, it's literally a side character. And I know that you're like, what? How is, how is Duncan Ashes a side character? When, trust me, because there's gonna be a whole bunch of colors on the under eye. All right, I'm really excited for this. I really am. Okay, now that we have taken Diamond Ashes and we put it in the corner, we're done with our upper eyelids. Like, that's it, that's all we're doing. Now, we are going to focus on our under eyelid. Under eye? Right here. Yeah, un under. Grrr. Okay. So, for this, we're going to be using very, very tiny brushes. So, this one, this one, um, this one. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's it. So. For Ash Nico's thing, we're going to be mixing, not so that it's green, we're going to be mixing blue and yellow, kind of like that. We're going to start dark right here, we're going to go to a light blue, and then we're going to go to a yellow right here, alright? So I'm going to be using these brushes and then this brush to just kind of blend it out so that it's an ombre. We're not going to need this brush anymore. Now, so that I can apply them better, I'm going to wet the brush. Because the other day when I did this look, just because, I had recently just cleaned my brushes, but I wanted to do my makeup. So when I did that, I was like, okay, let me just use it. It shouldn't be a problem. In actuality, it wasn't It wasn't a problem. It was, it actually made everything better. And I was very surprised. So what we're going to do, let's see, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this brush first. I'm going to go in with Delicious and I'm gonna put that one outer corner all right so right here and now I'm going to take soaked here this blue color and I'm gonna go with it next so you don't have to use the Jawbreaker palette for this look. And now I'm going to take this brush and blend it out a little. So this is a very precise look. Since it's very tiny, you're going to have to really look into your mirror very closely. Okay. 
Alright. So, as I was saying, you don't have to use the Jawbreaker palette in order to achieve this look. You can use any palette. If you have a cheap palette, go ahead. If you have an expensive Morphe palette, go ahead. If you have like an expensive Ulta palette, if you got one from Ross, go ahead. As long as you have these colors, I mean, it, it's fine. Even if it's just like this type of cute colors, you don't even have to use the colors I'm using. You can use another set of colors that will blend easily. Alright, so now I'm gonna go in with... I'm gonna wipe this brush a little white. Just wipe it on my hand, just like that. Done. Now I'm gonna go in with cute, right there. Actually, no, I'm going with Brain Freeze because Cute is like a bluish green color and I feel like that'll be good for when I, I start going into the, the yellow. So we're going to go into Brain Freeze and we're going to continue the line. So see, let me see if you can see it. You see, it starts looking like a, like one of those paint samples from Lowe's. That's pretty much what we're going for here. So now we're gonna take Cute, because after that we're gonna go into Wow and then Lemon Drop so that it's, it's glittery there. We're gonna go into Cute. Now, we're gonna go into, we're gonna go into Wow and Lemon Drop. And put it on the other corner. And now, hopefully, we can get up close. You can see the ombre, the daisy ombre. So see we have the white here, and then we have the blue for the Ash Nico. So, and now all you're gonna do is do your liner, like how you want it. You can either do, I'm gonna do a winged liner, but it's not gonna go all the way up here. It's not gonna be super strong. It's gonna just be a regular winged liner. And I will come back to you. Okay, so I have done my liner, and now I'm going to get in with this blue liner, and I'm also going to get in with a black liner. So I'm going to do the blue liner on the inner corner and the black liner on the outer corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm put it right, right on my waterline. So I'm going to take I'm going to take this mirror and I'll put it right here. So that I can see what I'm doing. And then you take the black and ombre it. Okay, so now I'm going to do my lashes and the other eye, and I will come back to you. Alright, so I have done both eyes, and I'm very satisfied with how they turned out, and I want to try something different. Kind of. Uh, should they do it? I should. I should. I should. Why not? Why shouldn't I? Okay. I want to try colored contour, so I want to try blue contour and using diamond dashes and then I'll put a daisy right here. 
I am, I'm doing, oh my goodness. I am doing whatever as I go. So, <laughs> let's try this out. So, I feel like I shouldn't take the darkest one for contour because it's like, my skin is not blue. So, I think I'm just gonna take soaked and let's just, let's just see what happens. So, I'm gonna take soaked. Mm. I don't know why I'm supposed to, to do this, so. Let's do this side. So what I'm doing now, I'm just, I'm getting very creative. So if you wanna wear this look out, you could just stop here. Do your regular contour, your regular highlight, your regular lips and stuff, but I'm going all out. <laughs> All right, let's see what fluffy brush can do. I saw that Nikki Tutorials do this with like a, with Rainbow, cause she was doing it for Pride Month. So I thought maybe I could do it somehow. I'm so glad I didn't pick Delicious, that navy blue color because I'm just trying to give my skin a blue hue. The contour is not that bad. It's not. I just, okay. Blend this out more. Blend this out more. I think the, the daisy is gonna be enough, so I should do a, a blue highlight. So let's mix Brain Freeze. Making my own blue supreme frost. You see that? You just do what you gotta do to improvise. We're a little pretty blue monster. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my blue liner and I'm gonna line my lips with blue. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna line it with blue, put a little bit of this cause it's a, it's a brown lipstick and then I'm gonna put the gloss. The gloss, you know I love the gloss. So let's line my lips. So now I have blue lips. I'm a blue monster. I'm a blue monster. Ooh. This is sick. It's real dope. <laughs> okay. Um. Now I'm gonna do the daisy right here. So out of the way. Um. I have a paint. And it's it's non toxic. Make sure you use acrylic paint. It's non toxic. But pretty much what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this mirror here. I'm gonna paint a daisy on my face. So pretty much what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with white. I'm gonna do the whole flower white, and then I'm gonna do the white, the yellow accents. 
Okay, so I put a little bit of blue eyeshadow around it. You see, it gives it like more of a background, a little more depth. But I think I'm good. I'm very satisfied with my look. I'm very satisfied with how this turned out. And I'm gonna go take some pictures. Thank you for watching. Bye!